Hello and welcome to another quick walkthrough of some of the features and functions that are available as part of the ArcSight ESM correlation platform. Uh, in this example, we're going to be digging a little bit more into, uh, in this case, the console and integration commands. Uh, they are very much overlooked and very much a very powerful capability to extend the console into doing new and different things. Now, uh, in this example, I'm actually going to be looking at threat intelligence uh, simply because this is a really good example of how you can pivot between some of the data and, and what we can see. So this isn't a digging down and in, uh, a demonstration of why you need threat intelligence, but it's a good example of how you can use that threat intelligence of uh, an enriching, uh, certainly within the uh, ArcSight ESM correlation platform. Now, I've got some log data here. We've got some triggered events here. So uh, what I'm going to actually just see is what we've got is a number of triggered, uh, in this case, uh, some log entries that have been triggered from a uh, checkpoint. We can see that there's been some connections here. We can see that there's a particular event here. It's correlation rule. Uh, we can see that this is a identified connection from a Tor IP address, uh, and we can see what that IP address is. So clearly, we've got a hit on our threat intelligence that we've pulled down. Clearly, there's something relevant here that we need to understand what it is. Uh, and this is where something like an integration command comes very easily. You select the field that you're interested in, you right mouse click, uh, and then it just gives you integration commands, and we've got a whole string of them. Now, you can create your own. You can, there's a whole bunch of ones that are installed as standard. Uh, third party suppliers will provide provide information. So in this case, uh, we've got the threat stream lookups. So I'm actually just going to look up uh, a particular IP address, for example. So in this case, let me just shuffle this along. So we, we, we got the uh, uh, recording in there. Uh, we just do the uh, integration command. Uh, we do the malicious IP lookup. Uh, we click the button and it, it actually exchanges the data. It spins up a browser. Uh, we can see that it goes straight into the threat stream platform and retrieves the details for this particular uh, IP address. Now, of course, that could be a domain. It could be a URL. It could be something else. So in this case, we've actually just done it on the IP address because it's nice and easy, and it was very simple for me to demonstrate. What we can do now is we can see the details for this. We can see that it's a low severity with a low confidence uh, in information around that. We can see that what it is, so it is active, so this is something that's real, that is being delivered and, and updated on a frequent basis. We can see that this is a Tor node IP address because that's what the rule was triggered on. Uh, we can see some further information. We can see in tagging, some information around the country, the ASN, and so on. And more importantly, we've got some visualizations so we can dig into this. I'm not going to do that in this example, but we could take some of this and right mouse click and start digging through and looking at additional information to pivot around that specifically to understand what is the relevance, how does that meet with other things. We can scroll down a little bit further and get the intelligence specifically. So we can see this has been reported from Jigsaw and from CrowdStrike. Uh, it's been scored accordingly. Uh, it's been scored as part of the anomaly uh, platform itself uh, as, as very, very high at a period, particular period of time. Um, and we can see some further enrichment and what the domain has been attached to that over time as well. Uh, and more importantly, we can see the data with regards to the first and last scene uh, as well. So We've gone from an IP address uh, with some um, information in it, and then we've taken that intelligence pivoted into a platform, uh, in this case, the anomaly threat stream platform, to give us further detail on the confidence and relevance of this particular information as well. And then we can start pivoting around and, and understanding what that actually means accordingly. So you can see that the ability to jump backwards and forwards from the console to do that integration command to pivot into a third party platform, in this case, the anomaly threat stream platform, is extremely useful. Um, I'll actually be digging a lot more into the anomaly threat stream platform and what it can deliver uh, and what the advantages are of threat intelligence specifically, especially when you tie it to an SIEM as well. Uh, but I just wanted to use that as an example to illustrate some of the capabilities of the integration commands within the console. Please remember as well that as of 6.11 ArcSight ESM, the web console now also supports integration commands as well. Uh, and that's it. Thank you very much for your time.